you guys your girl beauty with mika and i'm here to do a massive haul like when i tell you guys i came back from australia and i just went ballistic haul crazy yeah the struggle is real with this but let's go ahead and get started first of all shout out to all my new subscribers thank you guys for have subscribing supporting and just rocking with me thank you guys for being so patient and understanding with everything that my life entails um i feel like that chit chat get ready with me allow me to open up and just tell you guys what's the real deal going on in my life and being understanding shout out to you guys for who have watched the vlogs and follow me on instagram definitely give me your feedback on everything that you guys want a lot of your requests are coming soon i do plan to pre-record in the next couple of weeks but let's go ahead and get started with this video so you guys know there has been multiple sales i didn't do the nordstrom's anniversary sale for some reason i always feel like that sale doesn't benefit me plus the stuff that's in my wish list is a lot of stuff that i've been waiting on for the sephora fall sale to happen or ulta to pop up a 20 percent sale so just fyi the anniversary sale for nordstrom's i really did not utilize that sale second of all just to sit there and stop you guys right now and say where's your makeup it has been triple digits since i got back from australia in california when i tell you guys it's been so hot it's been very very hot like we're blowing fans i've turned on my air conditioner we have been hitting the 100 104 degree weather right here in california so because of that it's it's my day off and i was like i really want to get this video out to you guys because all this stuff has been sitting here and i know you guys are wondering like mika did you buy any of it so i definitely said let me just go ahead and get this video i know you guys pretty much like me just who as i am so i appreciate that i don't even know where to start but let's go ahead and first off get started with let's see the most popular stuff so Too faced i did go ahead and order the new Too faced jackie Ina collab um, I did order the Born This Way foundation in Tiramisu. I felt like that shade would be beneficial for me. Um, so shout out to Jackie for doing that and definitely looking out for us. And shout out to Too Faced for collabing with her. So I did order Tiramisu. If you guys want to see me do a first impressions or just a Too Faced review video, go ahead and let me leave a comment down below. Also, Jackie did not collab with them on this, but I wanted to give this a try. This is the Born This Way super coverage multi-use sculpting concealer i have heard so many great things about this i got the shade chestnut they call me mo she is actually a reference to my skin tone so i feel like if it works for her if the shades work for her it'll work for me so this is what chestnut looks like now i do agree with a lot of people when they said this should have a little bit in between like they could have collabed with jackie on that one to make sure but i'm gonna try this out and i'll give you guys my thoughts on it um if again if you guys see anything in this video that you guys want to see me do a haul not a haul but a first impression or just do a specific video for you guys let me know um let's see on to let's finish more Too Faced because you guys should see what i have down here so Too Faced part of that collection they did go ahead and add a translucent powder you guys know my ride or die is laura mercier but they did add the translucent powder in media in this is deep so i went on and ordered that just to do a comparison and see if i like it um so it looks like i will be doing a Too Faced video just showing you guys just the basis of everything now ColourPop, ColourPop did come out with concealer, um, their no filter concealer. You guys know I have loved the ColourPop um, concealer, sorry, the foundation. They came out with a foundation. You guys know I love the concealer. I have actually, I just recently ordered another one with this order. So I got the shade Deep Dark 195. Um, their shades seem to be a little off, so I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I have some neutral warm undertones. So I'll definitely be giving you guys a video on that. We got a lot of stuff to review you guys and i know i'm late i did go ahead and order the setting powder the setting powder is in medium deep and this is what it looks like everybody's coming out with like setting powders i think last year it was like all about highlighters this year it's all about no filter foundation setting powders and who can make the the widest range fenty didn't started everybody on you know, trying to get their money some other things that i did order from ColourPop was the concealer and this is just the backup because you guys know i love this concealer i ordered deep dark 52 that's the one i do love um so that's what it looks like actually i could throw that one out the box out so yep got a backup of the concealer i did go ahead and order the no filter sheer press powder and i got it in deep dark everything i pretty much got was in deep dark from them a lot of this stuff came when was here when i came back from australia 
so that's what that looks like i've heard so many good reviews about ColourPop that honestly you guys i don't know which video you guys want to see first either color pop or Too face but leave a comment down below because they both came out with great products that i've heard great things about and i just i'm like which one do i even do first so i do have a confession i did jump on the fenty bandwagon and with the so with the Fenty bandwagon, I went on and got the Moroccan palette. If you guys have not seen swatches on my IG, which you should be following me on IG, I did go ahead and post swatches of this palette. I immediately ordered it the night it came out. Yes, I was stocking it because I didn't want to go in store or anything. So I did go ahead and post swatches of this palette. And that's what it looks like if you haven't. Um, I am going to do a dedicated video to Fenty because I had tried the foundation out. And I was like, oh, I don't like it. It pretty much reminds me of everything else. But I've been still hearing so many good reviews about it that I went back and got the foundation and the primer. Because I've heard the primer is good. Maybe I just, I think I really just needed to do like a makeup kit. Because I didn't do any shopping in Australia. And I hadn't did a big haul in a while. So I was like, I need to... I just went stir crazy um so i did get the foundation again in shade 450 and that was the shade i was originally in so i went on and repurchased it um and i even did swatches in store and i was like yep that's my shade so you guys will be in the dedicated video for the fenty foundation and then i went ahead and got the primer because i've heard so many great reviews about the primer also so yeah i went a little crazy with the fenty stuff now i also ordered her eye primer with the um eyeshadow so with yeah so i ordered the eye primer and i've heard some good things about this one too rihanna is kicking butt she is she's really doing it so let's see also color pop i did go ahead because i wanted to take advantage of the free shipping for 30 dollars um and i didn't want to pay for shipping i'm gonna just be honest but this was a palette that was on my list and i was waiting for it to go to hot look this is the fortune palette from ColourPop, and you guys know i love ColourPop shadows and this is what it is i got it for 16 dollars, and i got the free shipping so hello by the way you guys will be seeing some declutter videos i need to declutter some eyeshadow palettes and some lipsticks so you guys probably after this video you guys will see a couple of decolor video declutter videos coming soon now yes i did i went on and got this i got the urban decay born this born to run palette now i um i got an email from urban decay because i went shopping at their standalone store they do have standalone stores now and it was like ten dollars off so immediately i'm telling you guys like maybe the day before i went to australia i used my ten dollar coupon and i was able to get this for ten dollars off because they have some rewards program so i was like oh save me some money so yep i got it i have not tested this out a lot of this stuff i have not tested out because i wanted to get a dedicated video to you guys so i've heard so many so many good things about it that's why i do need to declutter <laughs> but i am excited about using this palette so you guys will see a dedicated video using urban decay items coming soon too because i have a couple i really hate let's see on the color prop <laughs> so color prop i did go ahead and order these i fancy face and i blame tracy simmons for these because honestly i was looking at these palettes when they first came out and i was like i'm not getting these so this is the color pop soul palette and i fell in love with the shades because i just like these shades how many times are we gonna see these shades yes i know but i definitely wanted to get these and i've already posted swatches on my ig then i also purchased the mar so it's soul and mar and when i tell you guys i've seen that i seen fancy face video and i was like why 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 so that's what that looks like and i went on and ordered them told y'all i went butt crazy we're not even i went cray cray another palette that recently came in my boxy charm you guys know i am a huge subscriber of boxy charm i recommend boxy charm over any beauty subscription box my link is down below if you have not signed up as a referral link but definitely sign up for boxy charm so for the month of july they were doing a every month they do a theme and this time i actually got the palette because i didn't want that Too faced radiant priming spray so every month they do um a theme so i went on and i did not want the Too faced um radiant setting spray for the month of july but i did get this palette from crown brushes from crown so i was so excited about that so i just wanted to shout out um um i wanted to shout out boxy charm for that because this was in my box for the month of july i don't know when i'll ever cancel boxy charm but i'm telling you guys boxy charm is definitely good in my book um now on to 
let's start with some random so i did go into sephora and i did do a little shopping and i went and picked up the hourglass veil translucent powder i have so many translucent powders but i heard a lot of great things about this one too some people were raving about it even i went and did some research for women of color and I, andrea renee talked about it and i was like okay let me try it out um not that I need to try anything, but I was like, you know what? Let me try it out. It doesn't hurt. So I went on and picked this one up. So I will show you guys what this looks like because you guys know I love the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. So I was like, yeah, I'll give Hourglass a try on that. And I've heard so many great things about their vanishing sticks. So I think that's next on my list. Now, Laura Mercier was doing 20% off during 4th of July, their friends and family. I posted that link onto my Instagram site. Anytime there's sales, you guys know I post things on the site. So with that, I was running low actually on my Too Faced translucent setting powder. And it just so happened I put it in my wish list. And I was like, okay, I'll just wait. I know I have a backup. I only got two of them because I got free shipping and I paid $30 for each of these. And I think these run about $38. So $38 a piece. So yeah, your girl went and got two. I have a backup. And I realized actually when I did the calculations of it, I use four of these a year. So I was just like, mm, you already got a backup. And so when the Sephora sale comes, I'll buy two more and then I'll be good for the rest of next year. But yeah, I want to purchase two of these. Um, it was 20% off, 30 bucks each, free shipping, why not? So let's go on to Ulta. I did order some things from Ulta and I went on and wanted to try out the Physicians Formula um, Healthy Foundation. This is their brightening complexion. I got the shade Deep c1 a lot of their darker shades are not available in store you can only get them online so this was only available online i will be doing a test with this because for them they never do anything dark especially for women of color so i said i wanted to try this out you guys know if i don't like something you guys won't see it on my channel i won't even talk about it but i will return it with no problem so yeah I will be trying this out and seeing if I like it. And then I did go crazy because of the 20% off sale. And I went on and finally got the Morphe setting spray. When I see Jacqueline Hill do a video, it was like a BFF tag where she was drunk and she sprayed it. Yeah, if y'all haven't seen that video, go check it out. But yeah, that's why I was like, I need to get this. There is a Morphe store near me, but that line is hella long. So I went on and um, got this while it was on sale. And then I went in store today and they actually do have it in store now. So you can definitely get this. And I'll let you guys know my thoughts. My girl Tiff Jeff in here, my big sister, was talking about the Javanese brushes. So when she was talking about them, I was like, those brushes are hella expensive. But when they go buy one, get one half off, you can use the Ulta coupon. I went on and picked up a few. So I went on and picked up the fluffy powder brush. And I recently found out that they're actually going to be discontinuing the Javanese line in store. So they're only going to be selling it online. So I did go pick up the fluffy. I picked up the slanted powder. And these were buy one get one half off and then i did pick up the high density um foundation brush so i wanted to try these out japanese really does have really good brushes i never have had any like dislike for their brushes so when they were buy one get one half off i said let me go ahead and try it out also tiff was talking about these lashes i have not worn lashes probably in like a year why did i buy some because tiff was talking about these lashes and she actually was wearing them in one of her recent videos and i thought they were so natural looking on her so i went on and picked up the kiss blown out lashes and ching chong I don't know. Saigon, sorry. Yeah. So I went on and picked up the Kiss Lashes in Saigon when Tiff talked about these. So these were buy one, get one half off. So I went on and picked up two pairs because I was like, why not? Um, so yeah, did pick up these. Shout out to Tiff for those recommendations. Um, I did see someone talking about the um, I think it was Andrea Renee talking about the elf total face sponge. I didn't even know if elf came out with a sponge. This looks exactly like the real technique sponge. When I take this out and show you guys, doesn't that look like the real technique sponge? Like, come on, it looks like the real technique sponge and this is five dollars at target so i did go ahead and pick this up at target for five dollars um and you can get it there some other things it's not a lot left thank god i was looking for a clay cleanser mask because it's so hot i need something to pull out these oils and the dirt on my skin and because i work in an air conditioner office and then when i get out i'm in the pollution and the air and the sun and i work by the beach it's just ugh, against my skin so i have been decluttering and i wanted to get a clay cleanser 
cleanser that was good so i went on and picked up the bliss pore patrol clay to foam purifying cleanser with willow bark and you can get this at target for ten dollars so i went and picked this i went on and had the hubby pick this up but this is supposed to dry out your impurities remove excess oil and minimize the appearance of pores so i'm gonna really let you guys know what i think about it. if you guys want to see a summer skincare routine let me know down below now also at sephora i did pick up this is one of Bosha's masks. This is their charcoal pore minimizing mask. This was actually a dollar, so while I was there, I was like, let me just go on and get it. I did go to TJ Maxx, and because I went to TJ Maxx, I really went for these. I love these hangers. These are the Velcro hangers. These were actually a 12 pack. They were on clearance for four dollars, so I did get some more because I needed them. Then they also had these clear ones on sale, and these are the complete clear um invisible hangers i just like the color so i can see these were on sale for six dollars so i did go in tj maxx i went in tj maxx specifically for those and then i stumbled across some they had a bunch of like anastasia stuff and a bunch of Too faced stuff so i went on and picked up the estee lauder double wear three minute primey moisturizer this runs regular price nine dollars and i got it for 5.99 And that's what that looks like. And then finally, this is what really caught my eye. I've been looking for this at Sephora and I've seen Jackie Ina talk about this. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Wrinkle 24 Hour 24K Gold Intense Sheet Mask. This usually runs $12 at Sephora. When I tell you just this one sheet runs $12 at Sephora. Because I'm not spending like $50 on the four pack. And I was like, okay, if I can buy one of these to try it out, see if I like it cool they never had these in stock so tj maxx had these in stock and they were 8.90 and this was 8.99 so shout out to tj maxx because i never really stumbled across some deals but then i found a tj maxx that i will be using in the future now on to like some little samples and some 100 point items i did use my 100 points to try the ula him rigs um cold plunge pore mask this is that new um blue mask that they have out so i was like you know i'll use my points for this because we know sephora never actually gives the best points then in addition to my boxy charm box that came in for the month of july i got the dr brand needles no more uh no more no more baggage eye um depuffing gel that's what that looks like then in addition to that i also use my 100 points to get the moroccan oil shout out to my god sister who told me i need to put this on my hair so i'm listening to her then also um benef uh glam glow had their instant mud mask so i went on and used that um i think this is that one that is either blue or it's a purple this is the purple one so this is the blue one and this is the purple one and for 100 points i was like you know what instead of spending 60 or 70 dollars i might as well use my 100 points for them since i don't use it for anything else i did go to ulta and when i went in today to do a return shout out to tiff for that review on the matte fix plus matte spray i went to go return that and i went on and exchanged it for the dermalogica dermal clay cleanser and this is the little travel size i'm telling you guys travel size helps us spend money because it helps us save money because this regular is 60 dollars and i only paid 12 dollars for this then also what i noticed recently is that when i have been cleaning my face at night a lot of i'm having leftover buildup from the mascara so i'm like okay you need to go in and start taking a q-tip and actually wiping off mascara and i've heard next to besides neutrogena the clinique take the day off actually makeup remover is really good so i went on and got the clinique one to try it out because it is oil free this one is specifically for lids lashes and your lips um also, in addition to my 100 points, last but not least, I went on and got the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. I've heard so many good things about this, but again, why not use my points for it, right? So, that is it, you guys. Oh, by the way, I went to Bath & Body Works. Why? Because I ran out of candles. So, I had to go in, and it just so happened when I went in, they had candles for half off. So I was like, you know what? Makes sense. Perfect timing. Why not go ahead and get some? Um, and I didn't do so bad. I did get a free gift um, because of their rewards. It's not available everywhere. 
but I got the Beautiful Day hand cream. I also did pick up my um, co-worker the Black Cherry Merlot candle. It is not with me, but it's left in the car for him. And then I only picked up four candles, so I did good again. I'm staying under six candles. I've been doing so good since I said that. I did get White Gardenia. They changed the packaging on it. Um, this was $12.95 and then I like the top so I will be saving the top. My guest sister reminded me to save the glass too because of this marble thing. You could just pull it off so shout out to her for that one. Um, let's see another candle that I got. Check your local stores because they are coming out with their fall scents. So I picked up flannel which is a favorite from the fall of mine because I'm not a fan of their summer scents to be honest with you. This is one of their part of the semi-annual sale so I paid this one was 70% off of $22. So this one was the only one I like. This one is cheap sweet cherry pie and this one is just bright red cherries flaky pie crust and crusted almonds but it smelled really good so I did go ahead and grab that one and last but not least I got I picked up bergamot water you guys know this is a favorite of mine but I tell you guys again I am not a fan of their summer scents so because they had a few of their fall scents out um, I went on and picked up flannel and then I got bergamot water um, but that is it you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know you guys were like dang make a clean up um, let me know what you guys want to see first either Too Faced color pop or fenty review first shout out to all you guys that have been supporting me don't forget to thumbs up like and subscribe let me know what you guys want to see first because that way I can know which videos to get out. Um, until then, thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for the love and support. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, all those other social media sites. You guys know I will stay in contact with you guys that way. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.